Today, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the world's greatest mysteries, why men choose to cheat. Is it because all men are just inherently cheaters? Is it because certain men just lack any kind of moral compass? Or is it something else? Welcome to my channel. I am Zach Rohde and I am here to lead you into the relationship of your dreams by learning how to inspire a man into cherishing you using feminine energy and feminine communication. And if that is a topic that is interesting to you, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell below so that you get further notices about my future videos that come out. And like this video because I'm going to make it the best video it can possibly be for you. All right, back to the topic of men cheating. So why do men cheat? First of all, let's cover the obvious. Cheating is immoral. <laughs> if you have decided to be in a committed relationship with somebody and you tell them that, and then you choose to go behind their back and you cheat on them, there is no justification for that. There is never a good reason for breaking your promise to another person and having sex with somebody else. All right, no justification, there's no excuses. So at the same time, it's important to understand how women will co-create situations where their man cheats on them. This is not to victim blame. This is not to say, hey, this is all of your fault. It's the man that chooses to do something out of integrity. That is his responsibility. But it is important to see that there are certain things that you can do that make it much more likely that a man is going to cheat on you. For example, I'm just let's just give a really extreme, absurd example. If you decide to completely ignore him for a month and say, hey, we're not having sex anymore, is he going to be more likely to cheat on you? Yes, he's also going to be more likely to not treat you very well and to break up with you and all kinds of stuff. But see, that's a behavior that you're doing that influences heavily his behaviors. And of course, it goes in the reverse as well, right? Are there things that a man can do to make it much more likely that a woman cheats on him? Yes, if he acts like a doormat, if he's you know doing all this people-pleasing stuff, if he's acting really needy, if he is being a jerk, there's many things where a woman is going to feel more disconnected, lose attraction for him, and decide to cheat on him with somebody else. Is that being responsible? Is that being moral? No, of course it isn't. But did his behavior influence the woman's behavior? Yes, it did. Okay. So without that, with so with that out of the way, the reason that men choose to take the immoral action of cheating on a woman tends to come down to two different things that a woman can do. One is she is dishonoring her heart by not being in her self-worth with a man in some way. And there's many ways that a woman can do this. But one of the biggest is she complies, she fawns, she people pleases. Okay, She is doing stuff for a man that either he is leading her to do, but she doesn't really feel good about it in her body, or she's doing things for a man that he didn't ask for. It's kind of like mothering. Both of those things are communicating low self-worth, and the more that she does them, the less attracted a man is going to be to her, the less committed he is going to feel, the less inspiration he's going to have to take care of her heart, less seriously he's going to take her heart, because he can't feel your self-worth when you do those things. If you are people-pleasing, if you're fawning, like so you're, you're basically doing things for a man, following his leadership in some way, out of fear of being judged or being abandoned, those are control patterns, right? You're doing them essentially to stay safe. You might have had to do similar things in childhood with your parents, and now you're doing them with a man. But what's going to happen is he is going to lose interest in you, and you're actually going to co-create a situation where you are unsafe because he's going to abandon you, either by cheating on you or by leaving you or at least by closing his heart to you because he just doesn't feel that connection, that spark anymore. So if you notice that you tend to be kind of taken advantage of in relationships, 
you are not being cherished by a man, it's often because you're not operating in your self-worth. The other thing that you can do for a man to feel more compelled to cheat is you can disrespect him. You disrespect his leadership by resisting what he wants you to do, his advice or his feedback, or if he's telling you to do something a certain way, and you're just like throwing out these no's, or you're giving these excuses, you're not being accountable for your behaviors. You can also be disrespectful by blaming him, by judging him, by nagging him, by telling him what to do. And also, again, uh, being in that mothering role, like the kind of boss babe mothering role. If you're the one that has the power in the relationship, and you can feel this, this is an energy. If you have the power, if you're the one that's more wearing the pants, you're more in control, he is going to feel less in control. He's going to feel less like man. He's emasculated and he's self-emasculated because he's allowing it to happen. He's allowing you to be in control. And what this will do is it will typically cause him to lose attraction for you, and lose connection to you. He might actually still have a high level of attraction and connection to you, though. It really depends on how he's wired and exactly what you're doing. But either way, he's not going to feel like the man. And when a man doesn't feel like the man with a woman, he's when he finds an opportunity to feel like a man with another woman, he's going to be more likely to take it. That means if he finds a feminine woman who is really into him, who really likes him, who's pumping up his ego, and she wants to have sex with him, then he might do it. And again, that doesn't make it right. It just means that he's going to be more compelled to do it. So where does this leave you? Ultimately, if you are with a man, if you're dating a man, if you're in a relationship with a man, and you believe he might cheat... You have a fear of being cheated on because you've been cheated on in the past. You need that safety in a relationship. You need to know that your heart is safe. You need to know that you're going to be taken care of, that you're not going to be abandoned in this way. You need to know that he is fully committed to you, which means that you need to do your best to show up as the feminine woman that you are inside. Now, you might have wounding that compels you into certain control patterns, like the control patterns that we talked about, that will make it much more likely that he will cheat on you. You can't, here's the thing, it's like if you have this fear that he might cheat on you, you can't do this work of learning how to let go, learning what I call feminine communication, communicating in a vulnerable feminine way, learning how to basically show up as a lady, as a woman in a way where his needs get met. You can't do that to try to get the outcome of him not cheating on you. Why? Because then everything that you're doing is to manipulate him, essentially. You're basically creating this feminine costume for yourself to get the certain outcome of him not cheating. And and that holds true with anything that you want from him. If you're trying to do anything to get an outcome from him, it's not going to work because you're creating this feminine costume rather than truly embodying your feminine en energy, integrating your feminine communication into your being in a way that feels good for you. If it's not feeling good, then you're probably doing it wrong. And this is a big part of what we help women do in our academy program. Because I'm not in the business of teaching women to be fake, of teaching women to create femininity costumes for themselves, to manipulate outcomes from a man. Feminine communication and femininity has nothing to do with trying to get outcomes. A feminine woman inspires a man into taking care of her, into cherishing her, without her trying to do anything at all. That doesn't mean you're not doing anything. You are doing lots. You're, you're communicating in a very specific way. You're in a very specific energy. It's just you're not in an energy of trying to get an outcome. It's just like you are already enough. Your worth is just radiating through in everything that you say and do. And that inspires a man into wanting to take care of you, wanting to be committed to you, wanting to be with you and only you, continuing to maintain that high level of attraction. Because you know, this will be for another video, but you know that honeymoon period that supposedly ends after you know three months, six months, a year, whatever? 
is not supposed to do that. That honeymoon period can actually build over time and just get better and better and better where you continue to become more attracted to your man and he becomes more attracted to you. But you can only do that by learning how to show up in this beautiful feminine way that we teach. So if you struggle with that, if this does not really come natural to you, if you don't know how to communicate your needs and feelings and problems in this beautiful, vulnerable way, if you don't know how to let control, if you don't know how to inspire a man into stepping up to lead you, to keep you safe, to set boundaries for himself, to create plans and, and make amazing dates and initiate time with you, and really to coach you even to become a better woman. If you don't know how to inspire that, then let us help you. That's what we're here to do. And the two main ways to do that, one is our academy program. And by the way, the links to all of my offers, they're below in the description below this video. So we have a link that will take you uh, directly to learn about how exactly we can help you in our academy program. And there is also a link below about our masterclass. And in our masterclass, we give you the inside scoop about what we're doing in the academy. We show you feminine communication. We will role play it for you so that you look, know what it looks like. We tell you all about what you need to do to inspire a man, how to respect a man, how to meet his needs in a way where he is now inspired to want to meet your needs. He's now inspired into wanting to take care of you. The link for the masterclass, it's polaritymasterclass.com. The link for to learn more about what we do and to book a call with me, if you're interested in that, is thedreamrelationship.com. And again, all of my links right below this video in the description. Open that up and take action. Take action. Move forward with this. If you need support, don't just stick around and watch all of these videos. They will be helpful for you. But the real meat where you can start understanding exactly how to make these shifts, learning the exact communication, learning exactly how to shift these control patterns, that's going to be in those links. All right, that's it for this video. I will see you for the next one.